Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. You reject it. You listen to the devil. I'm with you Oculus Rift Reviews. You, you who until yesterday knew nothing of Satan, you so easily made him your trusted friend and master. We're going to play Grey Dawn I in VR. Your freedom, although you owe it to me. You surrendered it to your fiercest enemy. You unwittingly became his aider and abettor. And you have paid for it with your misfortune. Above all, you failed to understand that your enemy used you to root their eternal evil in your kingdom, in the place where I put you, heaven, so you could never, never find peace again. Grey Dawn does not have official VR support. But you can play it in VR because it has secret VR support. To get it to play in VR on the Oculus Rift, I can only confirm this works on the Oculus Rift, is you right click on the game in the Steam library, go to properties, click on properties, then click on set launch options in the general tab which is the first tab that you'll see, the general tab, and click on set launch options. In there, type minus VR, minus VR, all one word, no spaces, minus VR. Click OK. When you start the game, make sure that your Oculus Rift VR headset is working, is ready to go, and then just start the game. It'll start in VR. Again, I can only confirm this works on the Oculus Rift. Cannot confirm any other headsets. Uh, it does have some issues though. I'm having to play with an Xbox One controller because with the game, it's very difficult to play with mouse and keyboard. How vile. Eating is not a sin. He who is greedy is always in want, Horace. Honey Badger. All right. Oh, creepy. So this, this dude is creepy. Swear this thing was following me. It is. It was over there, now it's over here. Oh, wow. Creepy, creepy. Uh, and as you notice, I'm kind of low to the ground. So I think this is lower to the ground than normal. So it makes clicking things difficult. Uh, the one solution, right now I'm seated. I'm on a swivel chair. I'm using an Xbox David, One controller. Can you, can you ever forgive me? Blasphemy. So in order to fix the issue where I'm too low, I actually have to stand up while playing this game. So I'm gonna move my, my chair out of the way so I can stand up. And it, this is a little easier to click on items. I can see the, the pointer, it's very small. I don't think you can see it on the desktop view, though, what you, on the video recording software. Me and the children from St. Anne's Orphanage. And I'm trying to click on different things. What is this? Is he growing marijuana here, or what's going on? Um, it's very difficult to interact with some items just because the cursor, the, the mouse pointer, is not where you think it is. So... You're not always clicking where you believe you are. Certificate of, of Appreciation, Father Abraham, is it Marcus? For volunteering time and effort at St. Anna's Orphanage. And I'm using the A and B button. I also believe you can use the X button to change season. I don't know what that means. And then the left trigger to run. And I believe I've clicked on everything that I can. Uh, I think there's a few more items you can click on. But, uh, it's locked. Let's go ahead and click on the radio. Oh. Who are 
tragedy strikes again. It was only a few days ago that another boy was reported missing from St. Mary's Church. This is the seventh in a string of children reported missing since just last month. All of them were poor souls from St. Anne's Orphanage, apparently under the custody of Father Abraham Marcus. A witness confirmed... His They've gone mad. Are they accusing me? Each night I pray for the safe return of the altar boy. God as my witness. Could there be an unholy will at work here? Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from Black Tower. I so obviously he wants really you to get the cross there, children. but I don't want to Father click on Ryan it just yet. Carpenter is here with a message for him. Father, we have to speak about what you did. You used to call them angels, but in the end you killed them with a straight razor. They were innocent children, Father. There's blood on your hands. There's even blood on the altar. You're a demented maniac. Satan has prepared a place by his side just for you. He plans to make you commander of his army of demons. <laughs> Congratulations! By the way, it is Easter, so happy Easter to everyone. Now, we have breaking okay, news about the killer now. priest from Black Tower. Eyewitness confirms he really did murder those eight Heavenly children. Father, Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for you. you know, I am your humble servant. I hear the demons gnawing at my faith. My mind is clouded by doubt. Guide me towards the light in these darkest of hours. Wherever the child may be, I know you are with him. I will not lose my faith. I know you will give me a sign. So I'm going to try to pick up that letter. It can be quite difficult in VR. It's locked. So right now, I think I'm looking at the letter. It's locked. But I'm actually not. I have to actually look in a different spot to get the letter to. I believe that's it. I believe Forgive here. Me, Father. Tonight I will leave this world. My suffering is more than I can bear. I always thought I could find solace among the mortals. But I was a fool. You'll find me at the end of the world. I am waiting for you and please do not despair. Could this mean that you're alive? Okay, in fact, oh, oh, no, that closes the door. Okay, I think we're ready to get out of here. Yeah, we're ready to get out. So now I'm staring at a black screen, but I believe on the desktop view, the recording software, you see a face of a person. And I believe on the normal game, there's like some text there. It says, press any button. So I'm going to press a button and I'm going to stop on my VR is headset. This, I'm just seeing a black screen. Is only. this another of the devil's tricks? This place is not of your world. It is within the grasp of heaven. It is a part of paradise. God himself gave us this place. Only the brave, the righteous, and the loving can stay here. You're not one of them yet. In time, you'll change. Soon your eyes will see the truth. You'll break the seal of the mystery. With fear of God, faith and love, draw near. Okay. I don't believe you can interact with anything here. As far as the visuals, uh, like you can see, it's full 360 and it is 3D. However, the 3D environment, the 3D objects for the most part are very muted. Uh, they're not very sharp, so they don't really stand out in VR. This is not what I would call a beautiful game in VR. Um, it just too much of the environment is just too washed. And so the, the 3D Visuals just don't pop. I have a gift for you. An image of Christ. They're not bad. What a curious gift. You will find more of these. They're all scattered around my The room. arms actually look we pretty good as far as 3D models. He will reveal a great mystery to you about life and death. Remember, every place that you'll visit in my world has a hidden icon somewhere. Leave no stone unturned. 
and I, I believe it's just the artistic effect. It kind of has like a dreamlike atmosphere. And so that might be good for getting the right mood in the game, but for, for the 3D visuals in VR, it, again, I have to What's click on anybody to get out of the black screen. I think I'm going insane. We've invited our beloved so don't get me wrong, this is a 3D, 360 VR game, it's running on the Unreal Engine. So it doesn't look terrible, but I'm just saying it just, in, in comparison to some of the better looking VR games, it doesn't look as good as, as some of the better ones. So you are saying we are being punished for someone else? There's something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. So you can actually look through the door here. You can actually go all the way through. I don't think you're supposed to though. I think you're just supposed to be like listening in on the door. And that's pretty creepy. <laughs> okay, now the phone is ringing. Let's go pick up the phone. There's some creepy paintings. This door is locked. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debts. And lead us not into temptation. There are some visual effects here that don't look all that great in VR. There was like a wavy effect there, it just didn't work. Um... If you get scared easily, you probably don't want to play this in VR. You might get a heart attack, but uh, I don't get scared easily though. So I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't really scare. I don't the one tough thing about playing this in VR is not just the menu issue. Oh, I believe there's is there something you can pick the up? Roman ritual. I used this on David to banish the demon that tormented us for a long time. Oh, there's the creepy doll. Oh, that's creepy. Creepy. Okay. I want the blood and the flesh of Christ. Alright, blood and the flesh of Christ. But that means red wine and sacrament of bread. Are you talking about Father Abraham? Listen. Okay, so the wine and the bread. Oh, okay, those doors just opened up. And I see some wine, so let's uh First, let's look out the door, though. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The smell of wine. So we got one item we needed. And we need to get the bread. And, uh... I'm not going any further. Oh, oh okay. something down there. Or someone. Okay. Oh, there's like a big octopus. Well, that's interesting. Okay, let's get in the room. All right. I, oh. Okay, well, I thought we were going to be able to play the, the violin. Oh, we can pick this up. Oh, no. <laughs> the, there's the bread. We need to get the bread. Oh, you see the interactions here are pretty difficult in VR just because they're not where you're expecting they will be. Again, Jesus. Okay. Oh, Lord, give me patience. Give me patience. <laughs> oh, man. Just so everyone knows, uh, I'm not sure it's relevant, but I did grow up, grow up in a very religious household, but uh, I'm not religious anymore, so... I definitely get a lot of the references here, so I'm not like a 
I'm not like, uh, well, this is all strange. I didn't grow up Catholic, though, so, uh, but I am familiar with the Catholic religion, so I see a lot of the, this is the sacramental bread, the, the flesh of Jesus Christ, uh, and the wine is the blood. Like I said, happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> okay. Ah. So like I said, it, it is it is difficult. Oh, I need to somehow get this bread, but I got like the angle wrong. I might have to come back to it. Let's uh, let's come back to it. What kind of trick is this? Who brought these mannequins here from the basement? So you see the where your hand is is not always where you expect. Ooh, priest, you're into some kinky stuff. All right, I think I like you a lot better now, Padre. Holy water. All right, holy water. There is a story about a priest and his whore. His All right. His name was Father Abraham. I like Her the story. Her name was Lady Alexandra. It is said that she was a thief. Uh-oh. I didn't want to change the radio station. Oh no, I didn't want to change the radio station. That was a good story about a priest and his whore. No. Sorry guys. My bad. My bad. I did not mean to do that. That was a mistake on my part. Again, it's just the interactions are, are so difficult. They really are. Uh, let's try to get the bread. Nope, nope. Okay. So I'm gonna have to move, like physically move. Nope. So I'm physically moving like around my play space to try to get the bread now. But I don't know. See, now I don't know. Uh, now I'm moving back in my play space. Oh, come on. I might have to end my video here because this is really difficult. <laughs> Uh, I do like this game. So this is a thriller walking simulator with horror elements and very heavy religious themes. I like the visuals are not the best in VR, but you know they're good enough. You know you do have 3D effect, stereoscopic 3D. Obviously, this game wasn't built with VR in mind, so you know um, just it doesn't really pop. It's, it's like the the visuals are kind of muted. I, I hope I'm explaining that sufficiently okay. But the problem is the interactions. The interactions in VR are pretty difficult. Like I'm having to stand up and I'm trying to get this bread, the sacramental bread, and it's just almost almost impossible. Oh, there it is. There it is. I got it. Okay. Whew. But now I'm stuck. So I am stuck now. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, move around in my play space. Uh, please excuse me. I have to somehow fix this and uh, get unstuck. And so this is gonna take a minute. Hold on. Uh, okay. Okay. Move. Move. Oh, okay. Okay, wow. That was stuck for a moment, but uh, apparently I just needed to click on the object. <laughs> ...about my relationship with Alexandra. She always had a peculiar passion about the church, and about me, especially me. Oh, you need to get that. Huh, okay. Alrighty then. I always carry a Bible by my side. Remember the ninth commandment. 
Okay. So we're getting the sacramental bread and the wine. We're putting it in the frog because of reasons. <laughs> So obviously, if you're Catholic, or maybe just religious in general, you might find this very uh, appalling. You might be insulted. But uh, I'm really liking it. Um, it's a pretty good walking simulator. So it doesn't like throw you in the story. It doesn't tell you what's going on. You kind of have to figure out what's going on. And there's like bits and pieces of the story as you go along. And I actually like that. I know some people don't like that. They like to be what told. What is this? exactly what's going on but i like unraveling the, the mystery oh there's jesus all right oh there's a pig god is dead reality is just about the material world nominum tum despecaram de generam nostrum originum okay is that pig latin get it pig latin yeah, okay. <laughs> Am I the only nerd that gets that joke? <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh. Well, hello there. A phonograph cylinder. Huh. Uh, kinky. So this priest, this father, is, is quite kinky. I like it. I mean, if I had known how women are attracted to priests, I might have gone into that vocation myself. But I can tell you, when you when women hear you're, you're a lawyer, you don't get the same reaction as, oh, I'm a priest. <laughs> uh, so that's locked. By the way, you can't see the little lock icon on the desktop screen, but I can see it in VR. The little cur mouse cursor is just like a little white little dot, and it's very difficult to see, but you can see it in VR. It's just pretty low to the ground, and it's difficult to move. It's a little head base, so you got to be able to look up. Even then, it doesn't go very high. I still love you. Do you remember how we met? Six years ago, at an exhibition of paintings depicting St. Francis. I was in mourning at the time. You noticed me. You approached me, seeing that I was upset and dressed in black. You, a stranger, approached me in an art gallery and comforted me. Who would have done that? I started crying. You wiped my tears away with a white handkerchief. I felt something I could not describe. I was in love for the first time. You told me that you lived your life in vain until the day you discovered God. Wounded as I was, I fell prey to love. But I never thought you'd put your love for God above me. I still love you. It doesn't matter anymore. Man, this priest is a ladies man. Absolute lady killer, this guy. Okay, so everything's back to normal, I guess. Right? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Are we supposed to go somewhere? Oh, okay, I see. There's a little kid ghost over here. Supposed to follow him. Okay, uh, so this is Grey Dawn in VR. Like I said, it does not have official VR support. It does have secret you VR support. Show yourself. The entire village will see me off to the gallows. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves. And it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Listen, I want to give my mother a flower. But the flower is dead. Can you bring it to life? It does have secret VR support to get this to work. And I can only confirm it works on the Oculus Rift. I don't know if it works with any other VR headset. 
is you right click on the game on the Steam library, click on properties. Once you're in there, you should be on the general tab and click on set launch options. Once there, you type in minus VR, click OK. Start the game, make sure your VR headset is ready to go. And the game should start in VR. It does for me. That's how I got it to work in VR. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This is Grey Dawn in VR. I'm not going to say it looks great, but it, it looks good. It looks good enough. Uh, it looks like a really good game. So far, I've enjoyed playing it. Uh, again, I would call this a thriller walking simulator with horror and very deep religious overtones. Anyways, I'm uh, Fast Lawyer. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.